Okay, so welcome back to PyTorch 101 series. This is the fifth video of the series. And today I'm going to talk about creating your own dataset class for image problems. So simple image problems. We are not going to talk about RZNNs, um, like problems, but more uh, like uh, image classification or image segmentation. So, what do we have? Uh, we write a dataset class. So let's first import torch and write class custom dataset. And for image problems, um, I suggest that you read the images one by one from a given path. So we define the init function, and inside that we have image paths so we have uh, we have path to an image and uh, your class will read image from there and send something and you have targets let's say these are the targets associated with the image so targets can be anything a one uh, vector it can be so it can be multi-label classification multi-class classification as i mentioned before um one thing I also like to define here, since we are dealing with images, is augmentations. Let's keep it as none for now. Okay, so um, you got these uh, three things, and uh, now you can do self dot image underscore parts equal to image parts uh, self dot targets equal to targets so targets is your numpy array image parts is your list of parts self dot augmentations equal to augmentations uh, we define the len function so we have this returns length of self dot image school parts and we have the get item function and this will return images okay so um, let's say we have the target here so we get the target first uh, self dot targets and we also need to define the index idx idx okay uh so we got this much and now one more thing to remember uh, or know is that we will be using opencv so import cv2 in case you're not familiar with opencv uh, i'm not using it much here it's a huge library i'm just using it to read the images so um if I'm using OpenCV, all I need to do is cv2.imread. So my image is cv2.imread and the path to the image. So self.image underscore paths id x. So this will read the image. Now OpenCV reads the image in BGR format and we expect RGB. So we just convert BGR to RGB. So image equal to CV2 dot CVT color and image comma self, uh, sorry, CV2 dot uh, color underscore BGR to RGB. So it just converts the image from BGR format to RGB format. Okay, now, if I say self dot augmentations is not is not none is not none uh, then my augmented is self dot augmentations and here you can specify image as image and my new image will be augmented um, image. 
So um, one thing I would like to mention here is I'm using, I, I will be using in future videos uh, for augmentations, I'll be using Albumentations. It's a very nice library. And even if you have to resize the image or do anything, you can just do it using augmentation. So you don't need to care about resizing the image here. Uh, it will be taken care of in this part. So let's just make that clear. If you're not familiar with augment all albumentations, I will put a link to albumentations in the description box. Okay, so now PyTorch expects uh, image tensors in channel first format. So you have um, you have to bring the channels as the first index. So we just need to do a transfer transpose. So image equal to image dot. It's an numpy array and p dot transpose image comma zero comma uh, sorry two comma zero comma one and change the type to and p dot float 32 so here we should also import numpy as np so we got everything we got the image and uh, now we can just return the image tensor so my image tensor or we can just do return image which is the tensor um, as uh, torch dot tensor image that's it and target will remain the same as before or the same here torch dot tensor target so it's as simple as that don't do anything inside the um, get item function except to read the image and uh, apply the augmentation if there are augmentations i i say like you should always have augmentations even if it's like resizing the image it should be like this and let's just remove the none and augmentations come from augmentations Obviously, if you don't want the dependency to elementations, you can just use torch vision transforms here if you have torch vision, but you will need some kind of dependency, right? So here you do the transpose, which is the most important thing here. And if you have mask, you just do augmented mask, comma, mask equal to mask. Uh, yeah, you will also need to read the mask image and that can be two dimensional, two dimensional. So you have to take care of that. Uh, so here you have the image and if let's say if the image is grayscale, you just add one channel to it. For that, you can do some tensor dot unsqueeze zero okay um so that will be single channel image instead of uh, just a two-dimensional array and this is your custom data set for all for most of the image problems or let's say for simple image problems now you can you can have uh, a mask image if you want so if you're doing segmentation problems uh, that should work and you can also have uh, you can also return target along with the segments so uh, for semantic segmentation problems with with different classes and um i think that's that's all that you need to do in um a, cus a custom data set for image when you're creating a pytorch model I haven't shown you how to use these uh, text data set or um, the, the image data set yet, but I will do that in future videos when we create the models and we learn more about the data loaders. So uh, this is your image data set. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, do click on the like button and do subscribe and see you in the next video where we will learn more about data loaders.